now on the record uh, in the case of State of Iowa versus Kelsey Ray Thomas, case FECR 011664. We are in the presence of counsel, the defendant, and the jury. The court has received a communication from the jury indicating that the jury is unable to reach a verdict on count one, but is able to reach a verdict on count two. Uh, I would ask the presiding juror to stand up. Uh, Mr. Presiding Juror, we're going to go count by count. As to count one, is the jury able to reach a unanimous verdict? No, we're not. Would further deliberation be fruitless? Yes, it would be. Um, sir, you may be seated, and then we're going to have a polling of the jury. I'm going to have the uh, court attendant ask each juror, have you reached a verdict, and would further deliberation be fruitless? So those are the questions. She doesn't have to reread the questions each time, but if each juror would just indicate the status of deliberations at this point. Um, just a minute. Maybe we should go question by question because that was not a um, response. Okay. So, first question Has the jury been able to reach a unanimous verdict? On count one. On count one? Yes. No. 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 Okay. The jury, not you. Let me back up. I want the record to be absolutely clear. So, um, I'll ask the questions each time and I'll have the court attendant uh, indicate the names. So, first question, has the jury been able to reach a unanimous verdict on count one? No. Please stand up, sir. No. Would further deliberation be fruitless? Yes. That, okay. Thank you. Sorry. Has the jury been able to reach a verdict on count one? No. Would further deliberation be fruitless? Yes. Has the jury been able to reach a verdict on count one? No. Would further deliberation be fruitless? Yes. Has the jury been able to reach a verdict on a unanimous verdict on count one. No. Would further deliberation be fruitless? Yes. Has the jury been able to reach a unanimous verdict on count one? No. Would further deliberation be fruitless? Yes. Has the jury been able to reach a unanimous verdict on count one? No. Would further deliberation be fruitless? Yes. Has the jury been able to reach a unanimous verdict on count one? No. Would further deliberation be fruitless? Yes. Has the jury been able to reach a unanimous verdict on count one? No. Would further deliberation be fruitless? Yes. Has the jury been able to reach a unanimous verdict on count one? No. Would further deliberation be fruitless? Yes. Has the jury been able to reach a unanimous verdict on count one? No. Would further deliberation be fruitless? Yes. Has the jury been able to reach a unanimous verdict on count one? No. Would further deliberation be fruitless? Yes. Has the jury been able to reach a deliberate, unanimous verdict on count one? No. Would further deliberation be fruitless? Yes. <clears throat> Those are the 12 jurors. Um, position of the state. Go ahead, Mr. Knapp. State remains neutral as it's noted in informal discussions. That being said, it is the state's understanding that it is within the court's discretion to rule on these matters as a matter of the court's discretion when a jury is noted that they cannot reach an agreement. 
position of the defense. Go ahead, Mr. Cook. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. The defense realizes that the jury has put in a lot of time and effort into their deliberations, considering communications that have been given to the court, indicating that they would they are unanimous in finding not guilty on count in alternative one and alternative two in count one. The defense feels we are way too close to an outright acquittal to agree or to move uh, to dismiss this jury on the basis of a mistrial. And for that record, Your Honor, I, I just cannot make that motion. Uh, the court has heard the statements of the jury and the individual jurors. Uh, the court has heard the positions of counsel. The court finds that the jury now has been deliberating for in excess of 14 hours. Their deliberations have occurred over parts of four days and have included two full days. The court finds with respect to count one, which is murder in the first degree, that the jury has deliberated until it satisfactorily appears they cannot agree. agree. So, pursuant to Iowa Rule of Criminal Procedure 2.19, subparagraph six, uh, I am discharging the jury with respect to count one, uh, and a mistrial is declared with respect to count one, the jury is hung. Now, we will move to count two, which is child endangerment causing death. Would the presiding juror please stand up? Uh, Mr. Presiding Juror, has the jury reached a verdict on count two? We have. Is that verdict unanimous? It is. Please pass the verdict to the court attendant. I'll take all of it. of the uh, verdict of the jury as to count two by the court attendant. In the Iowa District Court for Wapalo County, State of Iowa, Plaintiff versus Kelsey Ray Thomas, defendant, criminal number FECR 011664, verdict form count two. Alternative number two, we, the jury, find the defendant, Kelsey Ray Thomas, not guilty under count two signed by the presiding juror. Members of the jury, your uh, services are almost complete in this matter. I have just a few small issues to uh, discuss with counsel, uh, but at this point, I'm going to ask that you go back to the jury room uh, to wait for a brief debriefing by myself. Sometimes jurors have questions about confidentiality of the proceedings. At this point, you are free to uh, discuss the deliberations generally with anyone you choose. You should keep the um, privacy of what an individual juror said in uh, the jury room to be confidential and not reveal that. But you can talk about the 